Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we have got another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems so I think we're on episode 92 of this now I mean we're getting close to that big 100 yeah but I think we're on episode 92 now and we will just get straight into it for today guys but yeah but as we are setting up just a massive massive thank you for everyone who um has recently subscribed and all that good stuff I haven't said it in a while just a massive massive thank you because yeah we're over 8,400 subscribers now so I definitely think we're on target to get 10,000 before the year runs which is that's that's crazy so yeah massive massive thank you to everyone for that now anyways yeah today's system is called the solas system here and this is made by the user in my discord server pencil head so um Sadly, I don't have a link to their YouTube channel, so sadly I can't put a link in. But if you um, want me to do it, let yourself be known, and then I can obviously um, go ahead and do that for you. But anyways, um, here we go. So here it is, a solar system, solar system, however you want to say it. So here we go. It looks like it's got a lot of orbits in it. So let's uh, go ahead and see what we have got in here. Okay. So there's no description, sadly, for here. So um, there it is. Right. So here is the system. It's got a light Milky Way background, I've just noticed as well there. But anyways, let's go and head towards the star itself here so it's about the sun in about the sun in size a little smaller in radius larger in mass temperature luminosity all that so there we go all right first object of the day right here ignis very very hot little larger than mercury as we can see here at 942 degrees right there so there is that now moving on to inferno here this one's looking quite quite cheap. it's like a Pretty uh, nice um, coloured atmosphere he's got on there, actually. A nice, like, golden sort of cream colour, sandy colour. does look pretty nice there. So I'm guessing this would be the Venus-like object in the system. That is a nice um, nice atmosphere colour there. So there we go. Right, moving on to Tehran here. Let's see here. Okay, so this one has um, got some oceans on it. Or well, not oceans, more of the lakes. There'd be more like lakes and ponds and stuff like that. But yeah, it looks like quite a foresty, rocky sort of world, as we can see here. So um, there we are. And those actually look really nice. I really like the um, colour scheme he's picked for this. I'm just going to go ahead and turn off all the orbits. I really think, the, um, yeah, I think that looks really good. The, I think the colour scheme does fit very well for Tehran here. Definitely, definitely a good looking object. Let's get a full look around this guy. So here it is. Really, really like the um, patches of water around it. That looks cool. I like that. Definitely a thumbs up there. Looking good. It's also got like a modded sort of like light cream coloured atmosphere by the looks of it there. So that is looking very nice, I have to say. Very nice job there. Uh, next up, we got the moon. So Phyllis D in Terra. So here it is. So pretty basic looking moon, as you can see here. So there's that one. And then we have Terra over here, which is very similar as well. Pretty basic stuff there. So there we are. Looking good. Let's uh, see how um, far away this is. So 1.4 AU. Let's uh, check the stats. Why not? So um, composition down here. 94 and then 11 there. Rightio. So there are those. All right. Next up, we've got Domus over here. So this one is definitely a more uh, hatable looking world than the um, previous one. And the previous one did obviously have some water on it, but this one's definitely got more oceans. There's definitely more ocean than land by the looks of it. 14 degrees. Definitely should be higher in the um, stats here yeah 95 and 69 this time around so here we are got the nice like white cloud atmosphere with the um yeah the nice green land below as well looking good i have to say that i still prefer i still think the previous one definitely looks better i have to say definitely more unique i think anyways moving on to this one here here it is another basic looking moon so yeah there we go that's a, that's a nice looking white object though but definitely prefer the previous one the yeah where is it tehran here that looks cool right Anyways, next up we got this one here, and yeah, as the name suggests, as you can see, it is an ocean world. So here it is, got a very, very um, high amount of oceans. You can see there's only a few little islands of land in there. So yeah, mostly ocean. But we'll check the stats on this as well. So you can sort of see how it's changed. We started off with land and hardly any water to a mix of the two, and now we're on all water and hardly any land. And this one's actually got very high stats as well, 98 and 60.9. So obviously a very good world for, I guess, sea life life likelihood there so definitely um would serve um some sea creatures well there right anyways here is the next one here it looked like titan for a second i briefly saw it but yeah here it is here yeah very similar colors to what titan has so yeah there we go there right moving on now to the next object so paradisium so here we go and this one's also rolling with a white atmosphere here um with the white clouds as well so here we go check the stats on this guy again 93 and 80. So that one's got the highest stats so far. Looking good. So there we go. 
no city lights, but yeah, there we are. Quite a small object as well, about the size of Mars by the looks of it. Um, yeah, there we go. Right, moving out to next one over here, Nuban. All like silver, white coloured gas giant here. There we go. So then it's got some moons here. They're, like, they're all random spawn moons, but we'll go through them just in case there's any unique ones. So here we go there. That one's got some frozen water, as you can see. There's some ice patches on it. So we'll, yeah, we'll get a closer look at that. I like it when there's... I like objects with like white surfaces and then bits of frozen ice on it. It definitely has a nice shiny effect to it, which I think looks pretty cool. So... Yeah, there it is there. So Curio, definitely the best moon out of them all. And then we have Aura Pax at the end with a black and grey theme there. So there we go. Looking good. So there we are. Maybe those black bits are like dried lava fields or something. And now moving on to the next object here. Infertinus. So here we go here. Going for a white atmosphere. But no water this time. More of an icy world. Still um, quite large in size. Still around the size of Mars there. Just getting a comparison with Mars, but yeah, it reminds me of a Mars like object, but it's actually a lot bigger than Mars, actually. Mars is smaller, so um, yeah, there we go. More, well, I guess it's it's almost a Venus in size, and okay, so yeah, there we go. So, yeah, Mars is only 3,300, this is 5,600, yeah, definitely got definitely a little off there, but yeah, there it is. There, so I just say it's like a big sort of Mars in the way it's just a cold rock with a very thin atmosphere by the looks of it, yeah. And then moving on to the next one here, along now here. This one's a lot colder than the planet it's orbs in, but yeah, here it is at minus 123 with a red color. So there we go. And now moving on to the last object of the day. This one is Limbo over here, and it looks like it's a Trace 2B gas giant and all dark. I oh, know it's not a gas giant at all. It's just a very, very dark object. I originally thought it was a gas giant. Okay, so yeah, it has the brown colored atmosphere on it. As you can see, if you look carefully there, you can see the very, very dark brown atmosphere here. This is the atmosphere you get on Pluto and Mercury normally, if you just add an atmosphere to it without modding the game. That's that normal brown atmosphere you get, which is quite ugly for those planets, if you say. But if you're doing an object like this very, very dark away, it definitely suits it very, very nicely there. So good use of the um, dark brown atmosphere there. So you can just see the very, very dark brownish sort of... I guess you could say it's almost red in appearance, very, very dark indeed. But yeah, there it is there in Limbo, just a very, very cold world all by itself hardly receiving any light at all and just chilling out here in limbo i guess so um yeah there we go that is the first object in the system by the looks of it okay so yeah there we go right let's get a lineup of all the objects so here we go so there's also a star the gas giant just dominates everything in size then moving down to the um planets now now the most notable one for me is definitely this one tehran definitely I, I really i just really like the um the color theme there the dark sort of green with the um yeah the dark cream with the sandy um the sandy cream color and then with the little lakes of water i, I think that's a really really cool looking object there so yeah that's definitely one of my top ones i also did like this venus like object with like the goldish orange colored atmosphere that's definitely really cool and then um another one the one that was notable was was it was one of these two the yeah the white atmosphere objects there and then down here we'd have all the moons as well but yeah and, and then also that frozen moon yeah this one here that so you can see the shiny frozen ice on it that's definitely a notable one for me as well but yeah my absolute favorite is definitely Tehran here definitely a very very cool looking object indeed so yeah there we go that is it all for this system so the solar system here massive massive thank you for the user um pencil head for sending this in this was actually sent in when i was on holiday so yeah a long time ago and i've yeah i need to catch up on all these systems so maybe i'll do like a whole week of subscriber systems maybe you, do you guys want to see that maybe just a week of it just to catch up a bit because yeah we are a bit behind because of my holiday but yeah, that is that. Anyway, but yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure to hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new. Helps on the journey to 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year. Because, yeah, we are closing in on it um, very nicely at the moment. Also, a massive thank you for everyone who's recently seen the videos. As um, Yeah, some of the videos have recently been doing very, very, very well. So, yeah, massive thank you to you all who have seen those. And, yeah, that is everything, guys. So, make sure you all have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.